Democrat Seth Magaziner represents Rhode Island's second congressional district in the 118th Congress, where he's one of nearly 80 new U.S. House members. A former public school teacher before getting into politics, he told C-SPAN about growing up in Rhode Island in a town he said was especially patriotic. Yeah, born and raised in Bristol, Rhode Island, the most patriotic town in the country. We have the oldest running Fourth of July parade in the entire United States. Um, I live in Cranston, Rhode Island now with my wife, Julia, and our 15-month-old son, Max. Did the patriotism of your hometown continue throughout the year? Uh, yes. So actually, the Bristol Fourth of July celebration starts every year on Flag Day, June 14th, and they have events every single day from June 14th through July 4th. Concerts, road races, all kinds of things. and. Growing up in an environment like that, you come to value the importance of public service from a young age because you see people coming together to celebrate those who served in the military as first responders, as elected officials, and uh, uh, in a shared sense of honoring this country that has given us all so much. Do you and your family talk about politics when you were growing up? We did, yeah. Um, we talked about policy more than politics, oddly, so clearly a family of nerds. Um, and so dinner table conversations about health policy and economic policy. Um, uh, so I was very fortunate to be raised in that environment. How did your parents approach, or what was their philosophy toward those policy questions? Um, they were always very encouraging of, you know, me, my brother, and my sister debating ideas in a friendly way. <laughs> and. Um, uh, again, like we were just taught from a very young age, uh, you know, the importance of public policy and impacting people's lives. Are they Republican, Democrat? Uh, my parents are Democrats uh, as well. My father worked in the Clinton administration for um, uh, a period of time. Uh, so that also clearly had an impact on, on me and my siblings. Um, but, you know, even though we're all in the same political party, it doesn't mean we all agree all the time. So we often have healthy debates and, and did all the time that I was uh, growing up. What did they tell you about being a Democrat? Do you remember? A absolutely. So for me, the Democratic Party is the party of working people. We are at our best as a party and as a government when we help working people establish, stable lives and provide opportunities for their children. Um, my grandparents were all the children of immigrants. They grew up poor in the Great Depression. My grandfather, Bob, in Worcester, Massachusetts, was a steel worker at a company that made airplane parts. My grandfather, Lewis, in New York, was a bookkeeper at a company that canned tomatoes. And with those jobs, they were able to buy houses, put their kids through college, including my parents, and build a good middle class life. And that's the way it's supposed to work. And so, you know, what motivates me, not just as a Democrat, but as a member of Congress, is uh, wanting to promote policies that will make it easier for working people to build and maintain stable lives and have that chance at the American dream. What did you do before you came to Congress? So I started out my career as a public school teacher. Uh, I taught third and fourth grade elementary school. Uh, later went to business school, worked in the investment world for a while, and immediately prior to coming to Congress, I was state treasurer in Rhode Island for eight years. What did keep teaching kids teach you about yourself? You know, um, it was a tremendous experience. I taught uh, elementary school in rural Louisiana, uh, a very impoverished uh, community, and uh, I learned a few things. I learned uh, that policy matters. Um, you know, I was teaching a school where we didn't have a good building, we didn't have the resources that we as teachers needed to do our jobs. Uh, there was a lot of turnover in our classroom because my kids' parents were having a hard time keeping jobs and were having to move in and out of town. Uh, that was one of the things that motivated me to run for office was wanting to correct some of these inequities that were holding back families like those that my kids belong to. Um, as far as what I learned about myself, um, you know, when you're a teacher, you learn a lot of self-confidence very quickly. You have to by necessity because on that first day of class, you know, when that door closes and it's just you and 30 kids, you got to figure it out and you've got to be able to wear multiple hats. Um, you're not just a teacher. You're uh, 
you know, a, a shoulder to lean on. You are, uh, you know, a counselor. You are um, uh, at times a, a nurse. You have to wear a number of different hats and be versatile and um, be able to uh, function in complex situations. What prompted you to run for this seat? You know, it was a desire once again to help restore that pathway to the American dream for working people, um, like my grandparents and many of that generation were able to achieve. Uh, I do feel that that's broken down uh, in our country, that it's become harder for people who work for a living to build good middle class lives. The data shows it, that economic mobility has broken down, and I think people feel it at a gut level. Uh, so I came to Congress because I want to fight for working people in Rhode Island and across the country to make it easier for people to build uh, good middle class lives.